Hey everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn how to create and modify a pivot table. Here we have a table with 7 columns. To create our pivot table, click any single cell inside your source data. Then click the insert tab on the ribbon and press the pivot table icon. Check if the range is correct. Specify the worksheet where you want to put the pivot table. The default location for the new pivot table is new worksheet, but if you want you can change it. Click OK. At this point you have an empty pivot table report on a new worksheet. Now before you start dropping fields into the various areas, ask yourself two questions. What am I measuring and how do I want to see it? The answer to these questions give you some guidance in determining which field go where. We want to measure the total sales per region, so you will need to add the region field to the row labels area. And the sales amount field to the values area. Great! In few steps we analyze the sales for each region. Let's do some magic now. Suppose you want to show the sales each region earned by customer. Just select the customer box and we are ready. To change the pivot view, you simply drag and drop a field from one area to another. For example, drag customers and drop into columns area. So, if you want, you can create multiple views of the same data. Of course, your data may change and grow with newly added values. And as your data changes, you have to update your pivot table. To update the pivot table, simply right click inside your pivot table and select refresh. Sometimes the source data changes in structure. For example, you may want to add or delete rows or columns from your data table. These types of changes affect the range of your data source, not just a few data at items inside the table. So the refresh is not a solution. You have to update the range that is captured by the pivot table from Analyze tab and Change Data Source button. Great! Let's see some other pivot table customizations. Every field in your pivot table has a name. To change the field name, right click any value within the target field, then select Value Field Settings. Type the new name in the custom name box and OK. When you create your pivot table, Excel by default summarizes your data by either counting or summing the items. Instead of sum or count, you might want to choose other functions, such as average, mean, max, and so on. Look at the following table. To change the summary calculation for any given field, Right-click any value within the target field and select Value Field Settings. Then select the type of calculation you want to use from the list of calculations and OK. Notice that each time you add a field to your pivot table, Excel adds a subtotal to that field. You can remove all subtotals at once from Design tab, Subtotals button, and select Do not show subtotals. You may want to remove the Grand Totals field from your pivot table. Right click anywhere on your pivot table and select Pivot Table Options. Click the Totals and Filters tab and deselect Show Grand Totals for rows or for columns. By default, items in each pivot field are stored in ascending settings based on the item name. You can change the short order of the items in your pivot table. How we can do that? First of all, right click any value within the field you need to short. Select short and then select the short direction. Finally, we will learn how to filter our data. For example, the top 50 customers, the bottom 5 sales, or the top 10 products. Let's get started. Right click any customer name in the customer field and select filter. And then select top 10. In the top 10 filter dialog box, define the view you are looking for. 
For example, you want the bottom 10 customers as defined by the sum of sales amount field. And okay, it's an easy and effective way to show actionable data. Thanks for watching.